Hey there, it's Kaylee. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use and read a measuring cup. In the United States, recipes have the amount of ingredients needed in units of cups. Like this smoothie recipe, it calls for one cup blueberries, one banana, a half cup of ice, three quarters cup of milk, and a half cup of water. That means it is helpful to know how to measure in cups. There are two types of measuring cups that you may have seen before. This one here is mainly used for measuring liquids like water or milk. And these ones are mainly used for measuring dry foods like rice or flour. Let's start with the dry measuring cups first. Dry measuring cups often come in a set of four different sizes. The smallest one is a quarter cup. This one is a third of a cup. This one is half a cup. And the big one is one whole cup. From what we know about fractions, one whole cup is equal to four quarter cups. And one cup is equal to three thirds of a cup. And one cup is equal to two halves of a cup. So for this recipe, we will use our whole cup for blueberries and our half cup for the ice, since these are both dry ingredients. Now let's look at our liquid measuring cup. Notice on this measuring cup, there are a lot of markers. These ones down the middle are in another unit called ounces or OZ for short. We can ignore these for now. Notice over here, we see some of the measurements that we had on our dry measuring cups. We have one whole cup, a half cup and a quarter cup. And over on this side, we have the third cup mark. This cup has a few extras as well, the three quarter cup mark and the two thirds cup mark. Let's practice reading a measuring cup. This one has a whole cup of water. Now what about this one? We always make sure to bring our eyes down to the level of the water or liquid because we want to measure this front level of the water and not this back one here. So this one is a third of a cup of water. Now let's take a look at these ones. Remember we come to eye level with the liquid and we measure from the front line or the liquid that is touching the glass on the side we are closest to. So this one is a quarter cup of rice pudding. And this one here is three quarters of a cup of chocolate milk. So for my smoothie recipe, I can use my liquid measuring cup to measure my milk to be right here at the three quarter cup mark and when I measure my water, it will come all the way to the half cup mark right here. Now you know how to read and use measuring cups for liquids and dry foods. Practice what you've learned by doing the online games and quizzes. Have fun and remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.